Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Avi, and today we are doing another Toy Story Collection update. This is update number two, guys. For this video, guys, I have obtained 20 different items for my collection. Well, a little more than 20, but you know what I mean. One of the first pieces I have obtained since my uh, first update video on my Toy Story Collection is a signature collection, Bo Peep. Now, this is from Thinkway. It comes with her sheep, Billy Goat and Gruff, and of course her uh, herding stick. And honestly, in my opinion, I am glad that Thinkway decided to go with the original original look for Bo Peep instead of the new look because I do prefer her original look over her new designs. And the first video these guys appeared in was my comparison video of the signature collection Bo Peep and the 1995 Think by Bo Peep, which this is super superior. Next up, we got the Troikas. I got the Bulldog, the Cat, the Duck, the Goldfish, and the Ladybug right here. A little fun fact about these guys, these guys were actually made in Russia. They were designed by uh, someone from America that I bought straight from. Uh, I think his name was Brian Ashford. He did a really good job designing these, and these are honestly some of my favorite pieces to my collection right here. These were pretty pricey, and my mom did tell me that I should focus on the more prominent characters first, but I couldn't help myself, guys. I always wanted Troikas from the movie, which I never had as a child, but now I got them all. Coming from the same creator, Brian Ashford, I got the Roly Poly Clown. This was also designed by him, and this was also made in Russia. Like, this is completely screen accurate, and again, one of my favorite customs in my collection. He's got a little jingle, just like the movie, and for some reason, before I even got a hold of this, I thought for some reason he was made of glass or some kind of porcelain material, but he's made of wood, and I guess I just assumed he was made of glass just because of how, I don't know, shiny he looked in the, the Toy Story movies he was in. Again, this is a really nice piece of my collection that I couldn't help myself from getting. I did replace my Disney Store Jesse with the Signature Collection Jesse, and now I do realize that a lot of people do not like the uh, Signature Collection Jesse because they think she's too clunky. Honestly, I think she's the better one than the Disney Store. That's just in my opinion. I know that she's not exactly movie accurate, but she just feels better to me than the Disney Store Jesse, and I guess that's also because she has a better hat than the Disney Store Jesse, which, forgive me for it being dusty, <sighs> that's literally what my toys apparently do on my shelf. Uh, uh, and it has a more accurate pull string ring, which I do not understand why Thinkway decided to give that to Jesse, but not Woody. But still, it's a really cool toy. Yeah, so she's a really good part of my collection here. Next up in my collection are Movie Accurate Aliens from ToyStoryReplica.com. I got these from the UK. Some guy in the UK uh, makes a bunch of replicas and he's really good at what he does. Now, these are, uh, they went for about 200, which wasn't bad considering I got three of them. And I do believe they did sell out after I bought after I bought these three. Now, they squeak unlike the Thinkway uh, signature collection. And overall, they do have a better toy mode expression, unlike the Signature Collection Aliens did. Next up in my collection, I did obtain a Signature Collection Duke Kaboom. Now, this is my favorite Duke Kaboom toy out there. Uh, not completely movie accurate, but I mean, he just looks amazing overall. And I'm very partial to him in uh, Toy Story 4 because he was played by Keanu Reeves. And honestly, one of the only good things about Toy Story 4, in my opinion, was that Keanu Reeves played this amazing, unique character. And yes, uh, if you haven't seen my Duke Kaboom review, he does operate just like he did in the movie. Next up, I got the Hasbro Woody doll. One of the first ones they made, which was the uh, one with the guitar that he had. Uh, the voice box still does work. Now this is one of the uh, first official pull string Woody dolls I uh, had as a kid. And he still remains as one of my favorite Woody dolls to this day that I'm very partial to as he was a big part of my childhood right here and he does already come with Andy on the boot which is something I loved as a kid because a little fun fact when I was little I used to want everybody to call me Andy because I like to pretend I was in Toy Story I don't know if I'm the only weirdo that did that but that was just me next up in my collection is the Takarotomi bilingual uh, talking Woody doll now this is one of my favorite pieces in my collection because he's very unique compared to all my other Woody dolls because he speaks Japanese Now, he did come with a, a sticker sheet for me to put my name on him, which is another unique feature I liked about uh, this uh, Tacker Tomy line. Now, he did come with a very uh, soft rubber hat that I was not really particularly fond of or nothing. However, I did replace it with a more hard plastic right here, which I feel like is much better for this Woody doll right here, which I honestly couldn't stand touching the soft rubber, so I had to replace the hat. 
Next up in my collection is another Takratomi item right here, which is the bilingual Buzz Lightyear action figure. Now, one complaint I do have about the voice box is that it's really quiet. I don't know if it was like that or if it got damaged in the way of shipping, but either way, it's still a really cool uh, toy. He has different laser uh, sounds. And uh, has a very interesting wing mechanism compared to any of the other Buzz Lightyears you see modern day like, as of lately. Now, of course, I will say that this was probably the best Toy Story 4 Buzz that they released for uh, action figures because he was more accurate than the ones we got from America, which I was heavily disappointed by. Next up in the collection is my 1995 Thinkway Posable Talking Woody Doll. He has metal poles in his arms that let him pose him and also in his legs. Now, I find this a very unique feature to the doll. Now, the only two movie accurate features that he has is his open uh, fingered hands and the movie accurate uh, pull string ring size here because they changed it to a larger size later on uh, other productions of the doll for choking hazards and here is the voice box very simplistic I need to show you guys something dumb that I did. So uh, this is the first Buzz Lightyear that I uh, gained whenever I started recollecting Toy Story toys. Now I cut his hands off to uh, drill holes into his hands right here to give him ball jointed wrists. What was wrong with the mod was that I had the wrong set of uh, ball joint parts and I had to buy a new pack and this was the correct one I had to get, which I did not get at the time. So I may mod this later in the future, but I cannot use this one because I messed up the laser on him, the laser light. It's screwed up. And the reason I was showing you that is because I had to get a brand new Disney Store Buzz so I can have the uh, laser light working again and maybe use him as like my play buzz right here. Next up in my collection is Dolly. This is the Disney Store version, I think. Now, I was about to get the signature collection one out there that was out there for like $120 at the time with the certificate and everything. I was gonna get that because that looked like a steal, but at the time I was contemplating with the uh, Troikas and the Roly Poly Clown and I went with them instead of Dolly. But so I just settled with this one right here and honestly, not bad. I actually like her. Now this new addition is a very old piece to my collection before I even started recollecting. Like this is one of my older toys right here that I just found recently. This is Trixie, uh, the Disney Store plush. I remember getting her at Disney Store along with the buttercup that I recollected in the last update video. The Prickle Pants on the other hand is the only uh, Toy Story collection item from Bonnie's Toys. And I honestly like this Trixie right here because I had a nice budget and I didn't have to buy her. I just found her in my closet. Now this little piece of my collection is a bit disappointing. Three peas in the pot. Now I wanted to get the movie accurate size that I thought it was, but apparently I didn't read the listing right, and this was the mega size that they had. I mean, I'm still gonna keep it in my collection, but I'm still at some point gonna get the movie accurate size for the three peas in the pod. Coming up, we got Twitch from the Sunnyside Daycare Gang. The first Sunnyside Daycare uh, gang member I got other than Lotso was Chunk, and he was an old part of my collection that I found. Now keep in mind, I did find a, a bunch of old pieces in my collection that I started putting back in my new collection. Now I bought this off eBay for a very reasonable price and I honestly love him. He even comes with his own little staff. And this is the one from Mattel right here. And honestly, he's a really good addition to my collection. Another member of the Sunnyside Daycare Gang that I got is Sparks the Robot. Uh, this is also from Mattel. Uh, he doesn't act the way he would in the movie and doesn't extend and isn't proper movie size, but neither is Twitch or Trunk, but I'm not complaining because these are still really good pieces in my collection. I just love the way his arms articulate here and he's just nice for display right here. Another piece to my collection I got is the Chatter Telephone. Now, I didn't get the modern one that is out in now I got the 1961 vintage model that was on eBay for 20 bucks this was a steal and a half and you could tell that that he's the older version because his bottom part here is made of wood and I got him because he also looks very old and worn down kind of like his character in Toy Story 3 it really matches it really well to the movie here. next up in my collection is combat Carl right here rest in peace Carl Weathers this is an amazing piece to my collection I never thought in a million years I would get a combat Carl now this piece to my collection I absolutely love. This is a Toy Story white logo collection, I believe, Buzz Lightyear. 
still works. I am Buzz Lightyear. Buzz Lightyear reporting for sector duty. And I mean, his wings work, but there's like a problem with them. Uh, you put them back in. You gotta like jam them up to like make them force themselves to stay in. I'm actually sending this Buzz Lightyear to get modded to one of my friends on Instagram, Toy Story Man one He has like four plus years of modding experience and he's gonna mod him to be 100% movie accurate. Well, mo the most movie accurate he can be since, you know, he obviously won't have karate chop action or the whoosh feature button, but you know, he's just gonna be for display. I already bought a movie accurate head from Preston's Toy Shop. I am excited for that video to come out where I'll be reviewing to Toy Story Man on his modding service. Another piece to my collection I got is one of Andy's older toys from when he was a kid, Etch-a-Sketch. Now, I do not know how to use an Etch-a-Sketch. I never learned how to use one. I don't know how to use it properly. Never learned, but he looks really nice with my collection right here. Now, I hope at some point I will, I will pick up on the skill to draw with this thing. Now, the last pieces to my collection for this update video are all the Toy Story VHS tapes I got. I got Toy Story 1, Toy Story 2, and Buzz Lightyear of Star Command, all on VHS. Now, this makes my display shelf look even better because I mean to be a top tier Toy Story collector I feel like you do have to have the VHS tapes to make your collection look complete. Hey guys, Editing Ava here. Just want to show you guys something I got for the update video just now. I already finished filming the video already, but I just wanted to squeeze this little item in here. I got Toy Story pillows and a Toy Story duvet cover to have a, my very own Toy Story themed comforter. And I know there are some of you guys out there that will criticize me for having a kid's bed, but I do not really care because I love me some Toy Story. So this has been my Toy Story collection update number two. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment down below, and please subscribe for more videos and more content on my channel. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss a single video. This has been your boy, Avi. Out. Peace out, Rainbow Trouts.